start up here with the axillary artery. It's going to give off a little suprascapular artery here. Continues back and then this main branch here is going to be the subscapular artery which just like in the dog is going to continue on up. We can see very nice here. The which one is this? Thoracodorsal. Thoracodorsal. And then the one that is going deep right here. Subscapular. Now this is subscapular here. This one. Caudal circumflex. Caudal circumflex humoral. humoral. Yep. So caudal circumflex humoral. Now coming off, usually just a little bit more distal is going to be the cranial, cranial circumflex. circumflex humoral. Yep. And so good landmark for that is that it dives deep to the coracobrachialis muscle, usually running parallel to the proximal muscular branch of the muscular cutaneous. Okay, we come on down distally. You may have one or more of these arteries going into the triceps brachii. Those are going to be the deep brachial. Coming on down, we may have one or more arteries going into the biceps brachii, which will be bicipital arteries. And then here, remember who this is here? The lateral ulnar. Collateral. Collateral. Ulnar. Yeah. Collateral ulnar is a good landmark for finding something unique to the horse, which is the cubital lymph nodes. Okay. And over here, we've got an artery that is running transversely across the cubit, and so it is the transverse cubital artery, right there. Okay, so at this point, when that cranial circumflex humoral came off, our axillary became the brachial. brachial. We follow that brachial down until we get to here. This is going to be the common interosseous. Common interosseous, and then our brachial changes names to the median. Median. Okay, so we come down here with the median, and we're going to have a couple main branches coming off. Let's see what we got in this best one. This, so this one here, the most medial branch coming off the median, is going to be the radial. Okay, so the radial is always more medial than the median. <laughs> also coming off in about the same area, and probably was one of these broken branches here, is the lateral palmar. Okay, the main continuation of our artery is going to be the medial palmar. Okay, that lateral palmar is going to join the collateral ulnar coming down this way. Okay, so medial palmar coming down, and just before the fetlock, it goes a little bit deep, and then it divides into both our medial and lateral palmar digitals. So our medial palmar is the main supply to the digit. So we've got our medial palmar digital here, lateral palmar digital on the other side. So as we course down through the limb here, running alongside the flexor tendons, it's going to be, we're going to have a vein, an artery, and a nerve. So here's the medial palmar nerve as well. And then when we get down here to the digit, it runs the same way, vein, artery, and nerve. The thing that may throw you off is we have these dorsal branches of the nerve that, so you might look at it and see nerve, vein, artery, nerve. <laughs> okay, these would be the dorsal branches if they're more dorsally located. But in general, vein, artery, and nerve is a good thing to remember, vein. Okay, something important about these other branches, we talked about the lateral palmar joining the collateral ulnar, and then the radial. They're going to form a deep arch in here, which gives rise to our palm, palmar metacarpal arteries. We're not going to see them so much coming through here, but sometimes if we dissect out the origin of these digital nerves, 
will see those arteries going into those digital nerves. That's important because if we have our main artery compromised, we have a backup supply to our digits. I think that's...